Welcome, people. It's your man, Dehydrate, coming to you live from inside the Oasis. For anybody who's been following me for a little bit of time, if you look behind me, I guess this looks pretty different to you. I should probably do an updated studio tour video because a lot has changed as I look around. It's definitely been a lot of stuff that's changed that you guys should check out. But what I wanted to do is show you two very new products that I just picked up that I'm actually going to do some comparison videos for you guys. A lot of times, I know us drummers, musicians, studio engineers, when we're trying to figure out what should we buy next for our studios, we do all this research, we look online, Sweetwater, Guitar Center, Musicians Friends, uh, some major studios, and we try to figure out what's the best product, what's the best way I can spend my money. Well, what I'm going to do is, these two particular products that I have right here, I want to compare them to some of the stuff that I already have to see if I'm actually upgrading my sound quality, if I'm going backwards, if it's only a subtle difference, you know, different things like that that we often try to figure out that is very hard to do sometimes. You search online and you can't find the video for the products that you're looking for. So let me show you these couple of products and then I'll let you know how these tests are going to work. So the first thing I have here is the Focusrite Octopre MK2 been really looking forward to this guy. I've been rocking with for the past uh, probably four years the uh, PreSonus Digimax LT. It's been great to me. I have several records done with this preamp. Uh, it's been on the radio so it's definitely a very good preamp but the problem that I have with it currently is that it only goes up to 48k and I have started recording at 96 and I'm not going to get into the debate of why I started recording at 96. For me, it just sounds better and we're just going to leave it at that. So definitely getting excited about hooking this bad boy up to check it out. I'm actually going to put these two right next to each other and I'm going to do some head-to-head -head comparisons with this versus that. Also, I'm going to compare a couple more things. I'll tell you about that in just a second. The next product I have here for you is the Antelope Isochrome OCX. Now this right here this is what some people consider to be secret sauce or secret weapon. I've also heard stories of these things being in major recording studios and flipped backwards inside the rack so people couldn't see what they were. This is a word clock that is very high end and I am very excited about this. I really can't wait to hear how it sounds and how it just makes everything just sound so much better in here. I mean it already sounds pretty good but this guy right here is really going to take it to the next level. So, those comparisons I told you about, we, we said we're going to compare the PreSonus Digimax LT to the Focusrite Octopre MK2. And also, at the same time, I'm going to compare two sets of drum mics. You know, a lot of people have asked me about my drum sound over the years, and they're actually astonished to find out that for about four years, I was using digital reference microphones. Yes, you heard me correctly. Digital reference. The Guitar Center brand made by Audio-Technica. Now, in my test and everything I've done, and you know, they've actually been really, really good. I, I cannot complain about them. And actually, when I initially bought the new set of mics that I'm going to compare them to, which are the Audix D-Series microphones, I was kind of not as impressed with the Audix mics as I thought I was going to be. They didn't really give me a far superior sound quality to where it was necessarily worth the huge price gap. But that's just my personal opinion and a few other people that I let hear those tests. And if you want to check those initial tests out, you can go to my SoundCloud page, which I will post up here and at the bottom of this, um, this video. But... What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a fair comparison, uh, actually head-to-head -head comparison of those two drum mic packages, both through the PreSonus and through the Octopre, to give you guys a true, honest comparison. Now, some of these comparisons will have video footage with them, and then most of this stuff will be posted on my SoundCloud page for you guys to check out. And again, I will post that link at the bottom of this video. So stay tuned, guys. I know you guys are probably looking for a drum video, and you're probably like, oh, why is he sitting in the studio? I want to hear him drum. Well, don't worry. Those videos are coming very soon. I have a list of several songs that people want to hear me do, so I will be working those up and getting those out here as soon as possible. But the main thing that I want you guys to know 
coming very, very soon is the comparison of the Audix DP7 drum mic kit versus the digital reference seven piece drum mic kit. I think it's the DR7 is the, uh, or maybe DRK7, I think that's it. And then also the PreSonus Digimax LT versus the Focusrite Octopre MK2 Dynamic. If I didn't mention that part, this is actually the Dynamic version, so that's going to be pretty nice. I won't compare these two with the compressor, obviously, on that because the PreSonus doesn't have a compressor. But I will compare them head-to-head -head and post all of that stuff up so you guys can really check it out for yourself. And so hopefully I can help you pick out your next purchase for your recording studio. Until then, stay hydrated. Peace.